I've placed the sketch inside the Illustrator and now I can start drawing. I'll do this in five steps. The first one is I'll create the face, then the hair. The third step is actually the body. The fourth one is the laptop and then I'll add some background details. I'll start with the face. Of course, I won't be following the sketch perfectly, but I'll try my best. Hold down option and click once if you want to now have a straight path. For the face, I'll actually extend over because I'll mask the ear, I'll mask it with the hair. With the hair, I'll start from this point and actually create a wavy path make sure that intersects with the top anchor i think this hairstyle is starting to become kind of like my signature hairstyle because i usually tend to have a character that has these two waves now uh, with air i'll zoom in a bit just because i want to make sure that i'm drawing something that looks pretty decent close it off i won't be leaving this with a stroke outline they'll actually have a fill with no stroke this is a bit different so with the stroke selected let's select the non version and then over here select a gray color to it. So double click if you want to make changes and choose different shades to have the ability to actually differentiate them. Now we can get to the clothes. I'll start with a rectangle for the color. Make sure that it's behind the hair. So with the hair selected you can actually bring it to the front and now let's create the body shape. This would need to be behind so I'll use command left bracket to send it behind everything. For the hand I'm actually going to use a stroke. So with the pen tool I'll create a structure in the middle then I'll switch it up so I'll actually have a stroked outline and once you select it you can actually increase its size let's go with 100 maybe a 100 and 50. Let's see how it looks with a different shade. One thing I would like with this hand is to actually go over the laptop keyboard right here. I would like to have kind of like a 3D effect. Once you're happy with this, go to object, hit expand, hit OK, and now you can make changes to it. Switch to the direct selection tool, that's A on the keyboard, and actually round this off. And also round these anchors off, and also the one at the color. I want them to have the same radius. Just because when you round things off, they usually seem to look better. Let's create the hand, close it off, send it behind and start working on these elements. These icons are inspired by the new icons created by Google. I know a lot of people have been hating them, but I actually kind of like them. So I'm going to try to use them as inspiration and create one for video. Uh, let's switch it up so we have a different stroke, make it wider because I want to see it and let's increase it to 30. These corners are a bit too strong, so I'm going to round them up. Start from the middle, create a shape like this and create a triangle. With this triangle, switch to the reflect tool, which is over here. Place a point in the middle and while holding down the option key and shift, you can actually make a copy. With the, both of them selected, hit shift M for the shape builder tool and actually merge them. I'll make a duplicate while holding down the alt key. This would be a shape for the email. So let's sample this stroke size because I want to have the same one. Create an M shape, have it in the center. With the direct selection tool, I'm going to actually round this up because I don't want it to go over the object expand because I would like to make a copy with it selected go to the reflect tool place a point on this anchor and while holding down alt and shift make a copy let's make it a darker shade just because I want it to stand out send it behind let's see maybe if we can create a rectangle over here let's stretch it out send it behind this should give it a more interesting look with the laptop i'm going to start with the display first so with the rectangle tool actually drag a shape right click arrange it and send it to the back because i want to see how it looks switch it up so you have a stroked outline let's increase its size to six points then make a copy of the same thing, command C, command F to paste in front and I'll actually make it smaller, round these corners up but just a bit and the top ones you actually have to round them off with a bigger radius. If you have the same radius it's going to look weird like this but instead you have to adjust it and make it bigger. For the bottom part right now it's not symmetrical and it was pretty impossible to get it in the sketch but I would like for this side to have the same angle as this side so for that I'm actually going to use the rulers so I'm here hitting command R and with the shape selected I'll place a point in the middle and let's create the first shape start from here to over here and now we can actually reflect this tool with it selected actually choose the reflect tool place a point here in the middle and while holding down alt and shift you have a copy let's remove the guide and now you'll have two anchors over here one thing you could do is with the direct selection tool select both of them right click and then hit join now this is one shape I'll make these edges round as well. 
Now we need something for the bottom part as well. I'll start from over here, create a shape like this. And of course we need to round these off as well. Drag on the handle. Let's create some graphics for the keyboard. Again, something very minimalistic. Go from the stroke panel, actually make a rounded cap and rounded joint and make two copies. And now you can actually go to the layers panel and disable the sketch to see what you got. Let's create a color scheme using the ellipse tool. I'll drag a couple of colors and experiment with them. The first one I would like to have is kind of like a pink. This one would be good. Then to have a complementary color scheme, I would go with a blue. So these are the colors I'm going to try to work with and also define some of the elements for the background because I want to have kind of like a 3D effect so that's why I'm going to have elements interlacing with each other so let's create a rounded shape send it behind the branch send back a copy while holding down the alt key on this side as well okay now we can play with these colors let's make this one blue and this one pink and we'll take it from here this element needs to be blue because it needs to have some kind of symmetry in color make this blue <laughs> these two maybe pink to blend in with the background and this one white the the hair needs to be blue just because it's going to sit a lot on this pink the clothes as well probably this hair needs to be pink the face white the color pink for these lines it's going to be tricky just because when i place a different color on it so for example let's hit x so i can actually place a color so if i place this pink then it's going to be visible over here which looks really nice but it's going to blend in here so what i'm thinking to do is actually break this down in two different parts so with it selected let's add some new anchors and actually place one in the middle and with the direct selection to remove it and do the same thing below it this one i'll remove it because i already have one from this one do the same thing here place one here place one here place one in the middle remove it add one here add one here this one remove it because i've done that i have this section and this section so this this one I can keep to actually be pink and this one I can change to actually match the other color. Maybe I can place a background color for this one so I can switch to the fill, have it a blue. Actually let's place a pink uh, outline to it and I'll do the same thing here. I'll just sample it and now it blends in so maybe I'm going to have an empty fill. Make this tree with eyedropper tool actually sample the pink, rounded cap, rounded corner. Let's add the final details to the face. I'll actually sample this stroke outline and I'll create the nose. I'll go for a very minimalistic approach here. I'll create the nose like that. Make sure to have a rounded cap and a corner. Deselected and now create a mouth, a small smile. And also here I'll like to have an element that's very similar to that. I'll add one more detail, some texture to tie everything in. And hope you had as much fun as I did with this small exercise. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more and see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye.